Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and you're on my channel Home Gardening. Today I want to film a video for you guys, actually a highly requested video about how I managed to grow, how I managed to propagate, to multiply my anthurium plants because you asked me so many times about my one of my previous video about my collection of anthurium how can i how can you propagate or multiply or even grow a beautiful bush of this lovely plant like anthurium plant and today i have one of my oldest bush of anthurium actually i don't remember the type of this anthurium but just look at these flowers they are like a dark dark chocolate these flowers are very beautiful actually this type of anthurium is rather rare because also because always you can find some orange one some yellow one or red one but this type, this color of an anthurium plant is almost, you can find it so easy. Actually, it's rather rare type of anthurium. And yeah, I also bought this bush a few years ago. And I love it so, so much because of its flowers, because of its color of its flowers very very unusual looking like a chocolate and yeah really like a chocolate like a dark dark chocolate yeah and today I want to show you step by step what I'm doing with my bushes of anthurium plants, how I grow them, how I propagate them, how I care of them. So if you're interested, please continue watching. So the first thing I want to tell you that I um, propagate, multiply my anthurium bushes by divisions. As you can see, as I said before, this bush is rather old. And as you can see, it has a lot of babies, a lot of new growth. So you can just divide it like this. Here is a baby in the root and also somewhere there also. So I just uh, multiply my bushes by divisions. Uh, also, I tried to saw seeds of an anthurium plants if you know some anthurium managed to give seeds seeds are somewhere in here it's like some some things over here on this part of a plant so i just took a few of this and i managed to saw it but unfortunately none of my seeds I uh, haven't grown yet, but I will try, I will try more. Um, so yeah, by seeds, not so good, by, but by divisions of a bush always works for me. So, now I want to show you how you can divide your beautiful bush and to have more plants, more babies and more plants in future. So let's come closer and to see how I do it. So here is <clears throat> my bush. What I'm gonna do now, I will try pull it out of a pot. like this as you can see wow can you as you can see 
there are a lot of roots and these roots are rather good healthy looking it means they're healthy looking when they are um, color of color like this yeah and as I said this is one of my oldest bush in my collection and I just had time to transplant it to a bigger pot because you know I have really a lot of plants in my collection and I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying my best to give the to give my attention to every plant in my collection but nevertheless as you can see from my videos all of my plants are healthy looking and I suppose they love the conditions they have in my home so now I am just cleaning all that roots from the old soil do it very gently because these roots are so fragile and easy to damage actually Try to clean as much soil as it's possible. And here we have nice and beautiful plant with this good type of roots and even with the flower. So the first division is ready. I'm trying to clean the rest of the soil as much as I can because I want to place it in the fresh soil good one okay the first one is ready Let's move on 
divide some more babies here also we have a baby like this and one more come on yeah yeah nice nice baby with nice roots one more this one also nice good As you can see, roots are healthy and there are no any of uh, dead or rot roots. like this So, as you can see, I have many um, new plants, many babies, so to say. So, what I'm gonna do now? Um, actually, I just like to take a plant like this and put it in a plastic cup. Just fill it with soil and put my plant in it. Why in a plastic cup? Because I like to use when I'm transplanting, when I'm repotting some new plants, I like to use transparent cups uh, because I like to see whether new roots starts to grow, is everything okay, and so on and so forth. So when I'm transplanting my anthurium plant, uh, when I divide it, I like to use plastic transparent cup. Okay. The next step, the soil. What soil I use to repot my anthurium plants? I like to use slightly acidic soil. This soil is special for rhododendrons and for some other plants that like acidic soil because as I know as I know, anthurium plants like slightly acidic soil. So, um, 
I tried to use acidic soil that I can find in my local store because if that works for me why acidic because that works for me I planted all my anthurium plants in slightly acidic soil potting mix and they grow perfectly that works for me I use this type of soil okay this but not the only this I mix this uh, type of soil with oh with coconut chips with coconut chips they look like this um, because they make the soil more like I don't know I like doing like this it works for me and these coconut chips in these chips the roots grows perfectly really the roots grows perfectly in the mix of coconut chips and special types special type of soil for plants that love acidic soil okay now i want somewhere i want to show you my plant that i planted before and even i plant even i plant small anthurium plants even not plants babies like this in uh, this cup in transparent cup this one i planted not so not so um, maybe a few weeks ago maybe a few weeks ago because i can't see the roots and as you can see there is also a mix of soil in here so yeah that works for me best also i would like to show you my anthuriums that i planted in that soil mix almost a month ago and as you can see here you can see new roots grows that means that everything is okay with the plant it's healthy strong and beautiful and even this is the new leaf that this plant managed to grow this is the new leaf in this soil also here also is a baby and also you can see these good healthy looking roots like this and also new growth has grown in this cup this leaf also that leaf also and sometimes I have even two cups in one cup because um, in this cup I have um, holes for drainage that's why uh, to avoid some mess I just put this cup in this cup and all mess is on the bottom of this cup everything is nice and clean so one more time roots in here roots in here one more anthurium plant i have put also you can see the roots in here in here so as you can see this uh, potting mix works best for me and I planted all my anthurium plants in this potting mix okay so let's mix these two ingredients together and plant all my anthurium plants one more time I want to show you that everything so I'm sorry my camera my battery um, lows down so I have to change my battery and while I was changing I was transplanting only two of my anthurium in this plastic cups transport as you can see the bush is good rather big healthy looking strong 
and also as you can see roots are over here but in few weeks the roots will be everywhere so you can just take you can just um, you could just pull out the bush and the soil will be on the roots totally okay mm, and one more i was transplanting this one small small one baby and now i have to plant these beautiful guys as you can see the root system is rather big so i will plant them in a bigger pot so what i'm gonna do now i just take something put this type of soil inside then i take some coconut chips then of course i forget to take my gloves so i mix everything together like this just mix everything in here everything is very simple the main thing is to find the proper soil mix and not to over water your plants of course because most of our plants die because of the overwatering now i will take some bigger pot maybe maybe like this filled up with potting mix just a little then take my anthurium gently carefully put the roots inside maybe I took like this that is not a problem everything will be used mm -hmm. like this then again take potting mix and fill up our pot with our potting mix from the one side and from the other side Actually, I'm so happy that my chocolate anthurium gave me so many babies. And I'm super lucky that I have this beautiful color of anthurium plant. Actually, I love anthuriums. They are super easy to care. They need not so much water and that's that's what i like because sometimes i can't water them regularly and these types of plants actually survive they don't need much water so like this and every my bush i will plant in this way just take these two types of soil one more time this one it's 
slightly acidic soil. Then I add some coconut chips. Mix everything together like this and this is it. Our potting mix is ready. Just take a pot, take your food and plant and plant it. So, as you can see, I managed to transplant all my anthurium plants and now I have a huge amount of my plants. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six plants I have at this moment from one big, beautiful bush. So yeah, this is it for today. Actually, you asked, I did how I multiply, how I propagate or grow my anthurium. Actually, I grow it through plant division, bush division. I just divide a bush and transplant it to a different pot. Also, I use a mix of soil, slightly acidic soil plus coconut chips. Mix everything together and plant my plant in this potting mix. Now I transplanted them and I won't water them for three days. Why? Because I want them to adapt, to adapt to, to, to get used to these conditions and only in three days I will water them. So yeah, I will water them in three days and yeah, also I won't feed them for almost a month because I used fresh soil, fresh potting mix and that potting mix is mixed with, you know, with everything. So I won't feed them for a month, put them on the warm and bright place that I have in my home and actually this is it. If you have any questions about how I feed them or everything more or some other thing that I know, you can ask me in the comments below. I will be glad to answer all your questions. So yeah, I hope this video was informative, was useful for you. I hoped I answered all your questions. I hope you enjoy. So. See you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye!